guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. In this video, we're going to be looking at the next part of your market failure. We're going to be covering some of the policies that can be used to address certain cases of market failure, uh, be it caused by negative externalities, um, information failure, like what have you. So today's video, we're going to be looking at taxes. Um, and in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at other things like subsidies and all. So this is a market failure policy. Um, it won't be... I mean, I mean the ideas behind a tax is, is similar to that of um, taxes used in general by governments. But this one is targeted towards a certain market in either increasing the PMC or MPC or reducing the MPB or PMB. So usually we use taxes to correct negative externalities in the market when there is let's say overconsumption or either that production that generates from negative externalities, usually quite an effective solution. So when you look at the case for consumption, a tax that is imposed usually will be equivalent to whatever the marginal external cost is. Right? If you guys recall MEC from the video that we covered on negative externalities, it is essentially the divergence between MSC, the socially marginal cost, not socially, sorry, the social marginal cost, as well as the private marginal cost as well. So this increases the MPC of consumers because this tax usually will be levied on producers, which then pass it on to consumers in the form of higher prices. As a result, they will have to internalize this MEC, whatever the cost is. Hence, their MPC will move upwards because their own private cost has now increased, causing the new MPC, new private costs, to intersect with their socially optimal level or where MSC is um, and causing the date weight loss to either be reduced or totally removed. Hence, leading to a correction of the market failure. So in general, we use taxes quite often in the case of, let's say, the cigarette market, um, drugs, alcohol, any goods that are um, high in negative externalities that result from overconsumption. So taxes can be easily adjusted up and down to meet the socially optimal level and it can also lead to a higher tax revenue gain which can be used to finance other sectors of the economy so this is something that is beneficial to a government. Um, however, its effectiveness depends on the price elasticity of demand. I've covered this before. Go and check out the previous videos that I've done on this, what PED is all about. Well, for example, we look at the case of cigarettes. Cigarettes are usually priced inelastic in demand. Right, this means that an increase in price results in a less than proportional fall in quantity demanded. All right, meaning that it is still largely going to be quite, um, you know, the demand is still going to be there. So hence, you may require a larger tax in order to bring this level of consumption or quantity demanded down even more. Okay, but this could lead to unfavorable, or inequitable outcomes for people who are unable to afford it. Right, especially the lower income groups. So this is a diagram that we have on how taxes work. Just take a look at this. Um, like I said, the tax will be equivalent to whatever MEC is, which is this part over here, okay, causing this triangle to be, I mean, originally, originally a day weight loss, okay, but as a result of it moving upwards because of a rise in MPC, your day weight loss is now removed, your quantity is now reduced, your original QE is here, is reduced to where your socially optimal level is at now. Right, so it can be quite a good strategy in this case. Now we look at production. So it's actually completely the same if you think about it. Now we're just looking at how do we tax producers. Usually, whatever it is, taxes usually go through producers either way. Um, so when you tax this imposed according to your MEC, this will increase the COP of the producers, the so cost of production, and hence their marginal private cost as well uh, will increase. So it shouldn't be benefit here, I wrote it wrongly. Cost right, of producers would increase, causing their um, or causing them to have to internalize these marginal external costs. Hence, the MPC will move upwards, shift leftwards, causing it to coincide with MSC at the socially optimal level. Hence, your dead weight loss is removed and market failure is corrected. Likewise, evaluation is exactly the same in terms of the benefits and limitations. It can be easily adjusted, it's usable in the short run, generates a higher tax revenue. Effectiveness will still depend on the PD of whatever the good is. And we also look at the case of imperfect information in overtaxation. Okay, this can lead to a greater case of a dead weight loss. So in general, this is just um, how the whole idea on taxes for production will work. 
All right, next we look at um, the case for or the diagram for production for negative externalities. If you look at it, it's exactly the same as that for the consumption one. So just take note of it, right? Likewise, MPC actually shifts, oops, MPC actually shifts upwards when there's a rise in the cost of production. And hence your MEC is reduced, quantity also will reduce to your socially optimal level. Alright, so exam requirements are very simple. You just need to be able to explain how taxes can correct a market failure, as well as its benefits and limitations, and just pair this with other policies if required to get a good um, overall well-targeted approach at whatever the market failure is. So that's about it for this video on taxes. So in the next one, we're going to be covering subsidies, and then we look at other policies as well. So if you did learn something, you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, as well as to subscribe to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So um, leave a question or comment in the section below if you do have any. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we are doing job tuition now. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and sign up at alevellessons.com. Link will be in the description below. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.